I just got to grab the books. Record this. <laughs> 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 okay, so what I'm going to do is um, introduce you guys in the order that you are on our little poster. So I'm going to start with Doretta. Doretta Green and Dyke. Was I close? Ish. <laughs> she lives right here in the beautiful Annapolis Valley. And she has a new book coming out in October. It's called What If? It's published by Acorn Press. And it has been called Humorous, Edgy, and Tender, which I think is a little bit like Doretta. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one, and maybe we'll get a sneak peek. Take it away, Doretta. Okay, before I do anything, I'm going to win everything, because I'm oh. showing you my kitten. <laughs> Wins with kittens. <laughs> okay, you introduced What If. So this is a picture. Uh, my book is right now at a publisher's and I don't actually make the books at home. I do the pictures. And so the book is titled What If? And the publisher will look at it and design it and do the layout and it'll go to a factory. So pretty soon it's going to be at the factory and be turned into a book. So these are some of the images. You can see they don't have words on them. And these are just uh, color copies or just from my printer. But it gives you an idea. It's about kids who are really afraid of things in general. So they're really worried something is going to happen. And that's what the book is about. What if something bad happens? So that's coming in October, which is probably suitable around um, Halloween. But I don't know about you guys, but I've been locked up at home during COVID. And during COVID, we raised some succulents. So this is something else I've done. I've made uh, a whole collection of these little cactus desert plants. And one of my other jobs is to make paintings for people and galleries. So if I'm not doing pictures for books, I'm making paintings. And here's my painting of, here, let's see if I can do it like this. So based on all my succulents, just paintings of plants and people, and that was a nice thing to do during lockdown. I was um, also missing going to our favorite coffee shop. So I was painting things, making pictures of things I was missing. We are standing in a coffee shop and you're about to order all the treats and so when I was locked down in COVID, I was working on some illustrations, but also on a bunch of paintings. And that's pretty much it. And raising kittens, of course. <laughs> All right, thanks, Doretta. All right, in the middle, we have Sydney Smith. He is back in Nova Scotia, living in the big city, which if you live in Nova Scotia, you know means Halifax. And um, his latest book, which is out just what last week yep last week is called i talk like a river it was written by jordan scott published by neil porter books um this book i read a review that said it was um heart-wrenching and beautiful and um those are some pretty good words to describe it and once you read it i think you'll know why so want to tell us about that Cindy? sure okay so um I started working with Neil Porter on an, my other book, Small in the City, which is right here. I just grabbed. And that came out a year uh, ago. No. Yeah, that would have been a year ago. And then um, after I finished Small in the City, Neil asked me if I wanted to work on this book that Jordan had written. And it's a story that uh, is about Jordan's experience growing up with a stutter. And here it is right here. So it's a very nice glossy cover. Um, it's called I Talk Like a River. It's about a boy who, uh, who has a particularly bad day with his stutter and feels kind of at odds with his self. And, um, and after school, him and his father go down to a river. Here, I can even show you some of the images on the inside. So here's, they're sitting down by the river. 
not sure how clear this image comes up on people's uh, devices, whatever they're using. But so the father and the boy are sitting by the river. And the father says, see how that water moves? That's how you speak. And the boy, he looks at the water and he thinks about that. And this is my favorite part of the book. This is a sneak peek of the book. But you've got this, my very first gatefold, <laughs> a devil gatefold, where you literally look inside the mind of this child. And it says, my dad says I talk like a river. And then from that moment on, it's kind of a re revelatory sort of moment for the child, for the for the character because he starts thinking that starts thinking of himself as not unnatural or not broken, but as beautiful as the river. So it's such a gorgeous story written by Jordan Scott about his own experience. And I am, uh, I've felt only like really lucky to have been part of the book and part of Jordan's story. So that's, that's uh, the book that's coming out. I just kind of, I, I kind of just fed my kids, put them to sleep. They're not even asleep and ran out here. And so I'm, I'm a little bit disheveled, but I'm out here in my, my own studio. And I've been working on a book with another book with Neil, another book that I'm working on uh, writing and illustrating. And it's a real doozy. I don't know. It's kind of got my head in, in my brain in, in, in knots. I don't really know how to describe it. So I'm not going to, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know something's coming. Right? Something's coming. Something's coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you, Sydney. All right, Lauren. Are you going to change Jay to make Lauren big like you did Sydney? No, I was big. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> how that happened. It, it's magic. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. <laughs> This is Lauren Soloy. She lives close enough to me to share cake with, and we do that on a regular basis, <laughs> whenever we can. Um, she is new to the illustrator scene with her well-received debut book, which you can see back there in the fern when Emily was small. It was published in June by Tundra. It's a book about Emily Carr, about nature, about art, and the wild spirit of a child. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey, I just realized my screen is, I don't know if I can, can you read that or is it backwards? Yeah, yeah. no, you're not backwards. Okay, good. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, this is my book, When Emily Was Small. Um, it just came out in July. And yeah, Angela told you what it's about. Here's a sneak peek of the inside. Let me see that. Um, yeah, and I've got another book coming out next, probably July with Tundra again. And that one's called uh, Eddie Darwin and the Four Pebble Problem. Uh, and then there's a couple more that I'm working on now. Oh, cool. All right. Thanks, Lauren. All right, <laughs> Jay, if we can get the Brady Bunch view again. I'm going to leave that up to you because I don't know how you're doing this. He's, he's waving a magic wand in the background somewhere, so. We're gonna get ready. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do next, while Jay is figuring out how to get everybody back into the, the Brady Bunch view. Um, next, I have chosen um, something for you to draw. So every, all of you illustrators, get yourselves ready. I'm going to set a timer for 90 seconds and I'll give you, um, I'll tell you, you've got 30 seconds left. There we go. I've got the Brady Bunch view back. All right. Is I realized the other day that I make like weird faces when I'm drawing, so <laughs> I apologize in advance. <laughs> it's okay. 
<laughs> no judging is allowed here. This is just for fun. We're not going to have any voting or anything. Okay, so we had a couple of suggestions. For those of you who are out there in um, attending land, um, make sure that you put some more um, suggestions in there so that I can choose from some. But for right now, um, Bart suggested a game of hide and seek at the beach. Go. You guys are going to get a little bit, a few more seconds because I forgot to start it. All right, a game of hide and seek at the beach. And this is the part that's all quiet. This is where you have to sing a song right now. Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't agree. We didn't agree to that, Doretta. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. The pressure, though, the pressure's on you guys. But, you know, no big pressure. What do you draw? Oh, game of hide and seek at the beach. I'm madly reading your suggestions because there's some great ones here. Probably evil. No, they're not evil. Uh, you, have, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Okay. <laughs> I haven't drawn yet today. I'm feeling so I'm a little bit rusty. Really good. Uh, this is warm up. <laughs> this is warm up. <laughs> Seven uh, seconds. Six, five, four. Three, two, one. Ah. All, right. All right, wait, wait, I have to figure out how to make it stop. Okay. Okay, a game of hide and seek at the beach. Oh, Lauren, what is that? Is that someone upside down? <laughs> oh, Sydney did the same thing. You all did. Oh my gosh. Great, all right, minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> really? Let me see that again. I didn't see. I didn't see hey, the other. Put them back up. Put them back up, you guys. Must be a crab. <laughs> oh, nice. And drag crab. Suddenly realized I didn't know what they looked like. Ooh. I like the eyeballs in there, Doretta. It kind of looks like a ghost. Looks like a blob. A sand <laughs> ghost. All right, that was super fun. Oops, okay. Every All right. Are you ready for another one? Everybody get your fingers warmed up. Okay. Um, I think this one sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Terry suggested an octopus playing bagpipes. Go. How many seconds? Um, 90 seconds, just like before. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of legs for 90 seconds. Not sure I remember what bagpipes look like. No, <laughs> Well, there's different kinds of bagpipes, I think. Six, seven, eight legs. How fast can I draw tartan? <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. It's <laughs> <And> really ugly. <laughs> okay, there he goes. I'm missing several <laughs> legs. What happened to this? Oh, oh yeah, how many? More than one. It's like. <laughs> I am missing legs. Oh, you have um, 14 seconds to, to find your extra legs. Oh, I like your beeper. Okay. Oh, oh I know, but except for that, I can't make it stop. Okay, you're done. 
Let's see it, an octopus playing bagpipes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, got a hat. Oh, yeah. it's suckers. You even got the suckers in there. <laughs> Some quick suckers. <laughs> Looking good. I like the beret. Yep. Yeah. I feel like I wasn't so off in the bagpipes, maybe. Oh, know. yeah, sweet. <laughs> nice, nice. You got some suckers on there, too. Oh, oh nice that bubbles. one's wearing glasses. Am I breaking the rules here? By Should I bring out anything? No, no. You can draw however you want. Um, Rule breaker, stop it! Um, <laughs> yours is very um, fluid, Sydney. Fluid, yeah. Well, yeah, use some wash. <laughs> It's an octopus. It's an octopus. Come on. <laughs> I like that it has. Okay. Just, I like that it has just one eye. That's very cool. I'm impressed you guys know how to draw bagpipes just like that. Like <laughs> what do you do in the day? A pipe of bag. Who knows how to draw? <laughs> Here in Halifax, you see bagpipes pretty often. Oh yeah. They're down by the waterfront. My okay. kids associate bagpipes with parades. So every time they hear one, they're like, we need a bag for candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I'm getting warmed up. Getting warmed up. Are we ready? Ready for another one? Yeah. It's going to be nasty. Okay. Well, this one just sounds... Um, Obscene? No, no. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's very... Interesting. So um, I'm going to give it to you. Right. Um, and I'm not sure I'm saying the person's name right, but Subash requested a self-portrait as a child eating chalk. Chalk? Chalk, like sidewalk chalk or something. A self-portrait as a child. Right, you start already. <laughs> eating chalk. Like All chalk. right, go. Okay. Okay. How many of you actually ate chalk when you were? How do you know this is what I lived off of? <laughs> childhood. Mm. My, what a lovely picture I'm drawing. I usually had gum in my hair. Should I do that? Mm -hmm. Sure. If you're, if that's your self-portrait. As a kid, right? Yes, self-portrait as a child, eating chalk. All right, we've got some more um, suggestions coming in. So keep those, keep those suggestions coming in in the chat. Okay. Uh, 19 seconds. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Laura? Lauren? <laughs> oh, you guys done? Yeah. All right. I have large nostrils like a pig. Uh, okay, it's done. I'm very angry. <laughs> uh, I'm very angry about this talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> ah, those are great. I like the way you're looking in a mirror. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. I was going to do a, a fancy frame because it was a portrait. A portrait, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, yours looks like you're contemplating the chalk. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not still not sure why I'm eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, oh, this is a good one. Okay, good we're, going you. With, we're going with this one just because I don't want to write it down and it's good. So from Ellen. Uh, Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen says, the kid looked under the sofa and spotted a it's your choice. You get to fill in the blank there. 
The kid looked under the sofa and spotted a hmm, what? All right, go. Because this hap this seems to happen at my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this probably happens at a lot of people's houses. What's it like watching people draw their faces? Are we all looking really serious? You're looking <laughs> down. Lauren is oh, sorry. Lauren is trying to smile. Sydney is just showing us his while he's drawing. <laughs> you don't need to see me. <laughs> I'm drawing a true story. A true story. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is inspired by Russell Hoban. Oh, nine seconds. I keep forgetting that I actually have another job here. Four, three, two, one. Here it goes. All right, let's see. Okay, now we get to, um, we get to hear a story, I think. Sydney, why don't you tell us yours because you've already got yours up there. Well, um, I, I just finished reading the Marzipan Pig by Russell Hoban recently. Have you read that one? Mm -mm. Uh, it's great. I mean, it just starts off about with this, uh, with this pig made of marzipan uh, being lost behind a couch. And then he's su super forlorn and, and uh, feels really quite emotional. And then a mouse comes over and eats him. And then the mouse starts feeling the same way. And then an owl comes and eats the mouse. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful story and it's really weird. And it's, it's a, yeah. And so all I could think of was a pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very cute pig. And he yeah. looks like marzipan. He does a little bit. I once tried to uh, make a marzipan um, like wedding cake topper. It's a really difficult thing to, uh, to negotiate and the more you work it the the worse it gets i don't i don't advise anybody try it does it even taste good no it doesn't it's not even like it's made of sugar but i i, I don't think it's supposed to be it's it's supposed to be eaten yeah it's that's a that's a tricky thing it's like yeah. turkish delight all right uh doretta let's hear your true story True story, we have a 19-year-old cat, and it was very cold the other night, so we said, why don't we bring the cat, who's called Nut Nut, inside the house? And Nut Nut seems to have forgotten how to use the litter box. So sometimes unfortunate things happen when you have a very old, old cat. So I even put flies. True story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right, L Lauren. <laughs> I don't have a true story. They're supposed to be uh, dust bunnies, maybe. Dust bunnies. I like them. <laughs> I like the kind of thing. I like the little <laughs> peeking under the couch thing. Yeah, that's cool. I like the little critters. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. All right, are you guys ready for like maybe two more? A couple more? Maybe three? Oh, I'm just getting started. You're just getting started. All right, we'll, go. we'll yeah. keep going. Keep going. All right, All right. good. All right, so um, we have, okay, do you want something ridiculous or something a little more um, esoteric? Uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous, okay. So, ridiculous. From Holly and Griffin, we have a request for a unicorn puppy with wings riding a rainbow and a penguin 
driving a rocket powered refrigerator. <laughs> Wait, both, both of those things? In one picture. Unicorn puppy. A unicorn puppy with wings. Yes. Riding a rainbow. And okay. a penguin driving a rocket powered refrigerator. You ready? <laughs> True story. I can hear them laughing a downstairs. That's my kids that did that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Oh, I, I might give you a couple extra seconds for this one. What? <laughs> so generous. <laughs> okay, what? What after the rainbow? The rainbow is the easiest. Unicorn yeah, puppy. Yeah, I've got a rainbow. Got a rainbow. <laughs> and a penguin driving a rocket-powered refrigerator. Thanks, Holly and Griffin. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I so love you so much. <laughs> this is so kind. <laughs> Forget penguins how to draw them. I can do this. I know I can. Uh, 44 seconds. What? Oh, Angela. <laughs> Why is the pe puppy riding the, a rainbow if it has wings? Wouldn't you Does the puppy have wings? Have wings? Yeah, I, unicorn puppy with wings, riding a rainbow. Okay. And I'm just thinking if, it, if I had wings, I'd just fly. Yeah. And a penguin driving a rocket powered refrigerator. <laughs> All right, you have 15 seconds, but I'm going to give you um, 10 extra seconds. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> you no. Know. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Okay. Well, this now is I'm just a little bit nothing. of a complicated one. This was nothing. You should see my life. <laughs> <laughs> and a penguin. I want to name my yeah. black and white cat penguin. Like Pingu. Like Ping. Okay, I'm right. done. Time's up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <So, laughs> Mostly done. Holly says that the dog has to ride a rainbow because his wings are too tiny. Oh, okay. and oh Doretta, I see tiny wings. Doretta got it right there. Success. <sighs> yep. Oh, nice. Wow. A, wow. Oh, I wasn't yes. able to incorporate yeah. mine together. I don't know. This awesome. is big. Awesome. Here, right. fun. Let's, see. Let's see yours. I'm going to, whoop. Ugh. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, I like these pictures. <laughs> Ew, look at that pink. Oh, like he's, he's going so fast, you can barely see him. Wait. Let's see yours again, Laura. Uh, uh, that puppy's adorable. Lauren, I got seers. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that? Is that refrigerator have a tail, Lauren? It's a rocket. <laughs> oh, it's a oh. <laughs> oh, I like your penguin. <laughs> you got a cute penguin. <laughs> Angela, we only had like 90 seconds. <laughs> yeah. No, you had a hundred seconds because it's I gonna get abusive it. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Which it I hurts me it. to to paint something so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go esoteric this time. Yeah. Okay, ready? From Sue in Japan, where it is, what, 7.30 a.m., <laughs> she would like to see the epitome of awesome. Well, okay. Here you go. Start. Oh, so we have someone who's saying that um, we can't see all the pictures. So um, what, what I'm going to do when you're finished with these is ask you to hold them up and just um, give us a brief explanation. I've just burned them. <laughs> no, no, just the one you're working on. We're going to do this on a go forward. And so those of you who are out there attending, um, if you change your view to speaker view, 
you should be able to see the person who's speaking and then you should be able to see their um, drawing up bigger. So I had a long day in a kayak and so I'm really, really hungry. So for me, the epitome of awesome right now You have seven seconds left for your drawings. What? <laughs> Oops, I forgot to give you the 30 second heads up. Oh, there it is. Okay, Doretta, are you finished? Do you want to um, sure, show I'll us show yours? Up. You can tell I have not had my dessert. Um, <laughs> that is going to be awesome right now is dessert. Dessert, yes. That looks me? good. Cake. 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 Yes. Lauren, okay. how about you? Cake. Uh, I drew my kids. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I like their little noses. Do they have tiny noses? They do. And I initially drew my son with a great big smile, but that's really not accurate. So I had to erase it. <laughs> okay, fair. Are they always hugging? Uh, they occasionally do that. <laughs> Sydney, would you like to show us yours? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been spending a lot of time at a farm lately. And uh, it's outside of New Glasgow. And so I, I uh, have recently been kind of floored by all of this, the sunrises there. Mm. So I've been painting quite a few of them and painting quite a few of the sunsets. So many that I actually, I feel like I'm, I'm stuck. I'm a little bit stuck. Uh, and that's what's been pretty awesome. Just the new day. I, that seems like a fairly okay place to be stuck, Sydney. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, uh, I do feel disconnected from everybody and I feel a little bit um, uh, missing, missing folks, missing my family. Mm. Oh, okay. Epitome of awesome was very nice. That was a, that was a good suggestion. All right. Um, okay, are we ready for another one? Okay. okay, um, this one came in from Trevor. Thanks, Trevor, Trevor would like to see a talking water bottle. Go. A talking water bottle. Hmm. <laughs> Mine just kind of looks like a poop. <laughs> How old are your kids, Sydney? Uh, four, four, <laughs> and uh, one and a half. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're right. So you have. Uh, 30 seconds. And for everyone out there attending, um, thanks for um, being here and for uh, putting up with our whatever technical issues we might be having and um, trying to figure out how to make this work perfectly. You did good, Jay, you did really good. I don't think there is. Um, this is our first time doing something like this. So um, we're just, uh, we're having a good time. So hopefully you are too out there. All right, you have two seconds. Here it comes. Uh, I'm done. Ah, Doretta, she's done. All right. <laughs> you wanna um, show us the talking water bottle? 
<laughs> what does this say? <laughs> nice, nice. Hey, Trevor, I'm talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Do the words come out backwards? No, no, no. It's, no. It's, it's the right direction. All right, Lauren, let's see yours. Can we... Um... <laughs> 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 good, dear, good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Having a crisis. <laughs> Water bottle crisis. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> it has a tongue. It has a tongue. I just I didn't put any words, but it, it does have a tongue. You know what I realized? Uh, what I realized is that every time, every time my family. <laughs> Every time my family plays Pictionary, uh, everyone looks at me and says, uh, you know, Sydney's on our team, but it's such a big mistake because I spend like, I spend like five minutes just drawing a detail of, of whatever it is I'm supposed to draw and I can't, I can't do the, the, the fast drawings. Uh, all right. I like that mirror setup. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, kitty. The kitten yeah. pack. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. You folks in for another one? Yep. Give her. All right. So I've got I've got one um, that I'm going to do, and then um, I would like everybody who's out there attending, if you have a really good idea type it in there so that we can do one more after this one. Um, this one came from, okay, so this is kind of a combination um, from Ellen, Trevor, and Chris. It, these all ideas came together, but I want to combine them to some, for something. Because you're evil. <laughs> because I can. <laughs> Need to sharpen my pencil. <laughs> oh, Lauren's sharpening Sorry. this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would like to see, and so would Ellen, Trevor, and Chris, a rubber boot chipmunk and in a mermaid jungle. Angela. <laughs> A rubber boot chipmunk in a mermaid jungle, go. <laughs> now, chipmunks have different tails than squirrels. They're a little bit more rattier, right? They're not so fluffy. Um, yeah, they are kind of ratty. Yeah. We see a lot of chipmunks in our chicken barn, so. Are they, are they nicer? We have a lot of chipmunks with mermaids. We have them in our house. But it's like a rubber boot, rubber boot chipmunk. Rubber boot chipmunk. In a mermaid jungle. <laughs> Psychedelic. <laughs> we know what somebody's growing in their garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> A mermaid jungle. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Timer done. All right, who wants to go first? Sydney, show us your. No, shirt. I'm still painting. Uh, yeah, but you have <laughs> to <stop>. What? What? <laughs> Break it down. Oh, Lauren, where's yours? All right, Lauren, let's see yours. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking for your mermaid. There's what? no mermaid. It, it's a mermaid. Jungle. Say you're gonna draw a mermaid. 
I really like your boot. That's a whole character. That's a whole new character. <laughs> yeah. Go with that. Chipmunk. That's he looks a, a little, one. a little bit evil. <laughs> I know. He looks a little bit mad. <laughs> All right, uh, Doretta, what do you got? I first had to go to my garden, but here we go. Oh, Aww, wow. that's adorable. Oh, look at her. I love that mermaid. And look at that little chipmunk sticking out of that boot. Aww. Thank goodness I could draw a jungle or it'd be X-rated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for leaves. <laughs> Sydney. Oh, look at the boot. <laughs> Well done. That's a good oh, boot. Yeah, you did good. I like the mermaid jungle. Yeah. yeah that's, good. that's a good like mermaid trees, but mermaid. Yeah. That's oh, good. Oh, well, those are so, this is so much fun. <laughs> okay. What do you think? One more or two more? Huber, I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Let's okay. go. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we've got um, we've got a suggestion from Georgia and Harper. They would like to see a narwhal poking another narwhal. Go. Narwhal. 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 I wonder how often that happens. How often they poke each other? Yeah. Probably a lot. That's why they have those <laughs> horns, right? They're really long, yeah. Unicorns of the sea. Yeah. I've eaten whale before. Should you I have? admit that? Sure. Where did, Where did you do that? that? I lived up north and they would eat the skin of the whale and it was called muktuk in a nook mm. And what's it like? It was, it was usually a, like a beluga whale. And it's just like- 30 it's seconds. Kind of rubbery. Mm. It tasted like rubber? Mm. What's the taste like? Didn't have much taste for me. Okay. All right. We're almost there. The alarm is going off now. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sydney. Let's see yours first. <laughs> I see blood. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a train wreck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Getting more violent. <laughs> yeah, I decided to go there. You went there. I went there. You kind of have to if you're using paint. It's real. Right? It's yeah. real. You have to use the color red at some point today. Yeah, I know. It's true. <laughs> Uh, Doretta, let's see. Oh, oh that's uh, uh, each other. That's like a oh. friendly poke. Yeah. It is. Like so it. opposite of <laughs> <laughs> It is the opposite of mine. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Lauren, what, let's see. <laughs> oh, what does it say? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Mine saying sorry too. <laughs> it's so polite. They're such polite narwhals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Okay, let's do one more because I've got a sort of a combination here. Um, oh no. And um. And one of them is from um, Holly and Griffin, who are just really, really insistent on a cat cupcake. But someone else asked for the moon saying good night. So I think we should have, for our last drawing, the moon saying good night to a cat cupcake. Are you ready? Go. Ah. <laughs> 
Griffin says that's just Holly. <laughs> 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 just to clarify, it's not him. I wonder if Holly doesn't have something better to do on a uh, Tuesday evening. Maybe <laughs> she's got some work to do. <laughs> What is the moon saying? Uh, good night, good night. To a fat cupcake. The silence of art. There we go. Thirty seconds. Okay. So while, they're finish, while they're finishing up, um, I can tell you guys that the idea for this came from uh, Lauren and I actually attended an illustrator sketch off as part of the ALA online conference. And we thought it was so much fun that we should do it here in Nova Scotia. It was fun. It was fun. And this one, I don't know, I think this one's a little more fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're better. <laughs> Because we're having fun. Okay. Uh, the timer went off. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, I like that moon in there. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Lauren. Let's see, Lauren. Yes, I can tell if I'm holding it. Okay. Ah, <laughs> cat cupcake. I like that. Cat cupcake, cat cupcake does to not bed. want to go to bed. No. Uh, <laughs> Good night, cat cupcake. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Doretta. Let's see. There you go. Oh. Oh, look, that cat looks really familiar. It sure does. Oh. So does that cupcake? So does that moon. <laughs> <laughs> Art imitating life. <laughs> All right, Sydney, let's see. Oh, cute. Okay. Oh, look at the is, is that I like the moon? Look at that That's little good. Red. It's kind of just hiding inside the cupcake uh yeah. what's that thing called? The paper the liner, cape cupcake the liner. Cupcake liner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, yeah. Start, the, the moon's starting to get a little, a little bit hazy. I like, I like that part. It's raining. The moon is raining. Yeah. It's floating around. All right. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you all, Doretta, Lauren, and Sydney for doing this. It's been a real delight. Um, Thank you, all of you people who came from all around the world to um, join in with us. And um, if you live here in the Valley, or even if you don't live here in the Valley, check out what we've got going on um, on our website. We've got some other fun things going on, including Trivia Night, which is um, online and a whole lot of fun. Um, so, oh, somebody's saying good night from Toronto. Thank you, thank you. You guys can look at the chat um, panelists if you want to see everybody saying goodbye and thank you. Um, and I guess that's it. I just want to um, echo everybody saying thank you. This was a whole lot of fun. Great. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, good night. <laughs> Good night, cat cupcake. Uh, Good night. Time Lou. to go eat some cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take time. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.